I'm John, this is Demonstrations, and on today's video we're going to be drawing the God of Mischief, Loki. I'm a big fan of the MCU, and as you can gather by the other videos on the channel, unless you're new here, I do a lot of pop culture things. Anyway, I thought it'd be quite fun to draw Loki, the God of Mischief, Thor's lovable, slightly crazy, and power-obsessed adopted brother. For this one I wanted to do four in a bit of a dynamic pose with his cape in the background and kind of like flying or fluttering behind him. He's in his armour with the horns from the MCU universe and I quite like the golden armour. It was a lot trickier to draw or illustrate this and it took some time getting the armour right on the pose and I know some bits aren't quite right but I don't think they take away from the overall piece. I also wanted him to have the Tesseract in his staff. I thought it'd be quite fitting. It's kind of like an illustration of him around the time of the uh, Avengers Assemble movie. So he had the armor with the horns and he also had sort of like the black outfit and that and his green cape and the scepter, which I thought was quite cool. I do like the way that he does help for grow in a sense. You've got this sort of like sibling rivalry in amongst the ongoing deceptive, mischievous, uh, I would say deceitful, but also fun seeking side of Loki. He does have strong feelings and ties with his adoptive mother Freya and even Odin, who he doesn't always get on well with. And although he won't really admit it, and you see later on in MCU universe and even in some of the comics, that despite the fact that he resents four a lot because he's, he sees him as the favourite son. He does actually care for him and respect him in his own way, which I think is quite cool. Now for this, the pose, I kind of wanted to draw him in a bit of the anime style that I've been doing lately and I'm kind of happy with how it turned out. I said there are one or two bits I would tweak, maybe the shoulder pad a bit more on the arm that's closest to you, but also the the way the cape comes over and maybe how his hand is poised in the background, maybe it could be turned a bit more. But all in all, I really like how this came out. I hope you guys enjoy the process of bringing this illustration to life. Let me know in the comments below if there's anyone you want to see drawn on the channel from the MC Universe or in fact, any anime or any universe going. And yeah, I, I said, I hope you enjoy the process of bringing this illustration to life.
there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the process of bringing Loki to life. I quite enjoyed the pose that I ended up with and how this final illustration rendered. If you like it and you want to see more characters, maybe some more MCU villains or other MCU characters from the universe of Thor, let me know who you'd like to see in the comments below. The next video is going to be continuing our multi-story arc. It's been a little bit since I've done that, but I'll be adding in a bit more of a fleshed out story and a bit more lore into this one. It's going to be continuing from where Megatron left off and that's the only hint you're going to get. So be sure to check out the video on Monday. Anyway, stay safe everybody and I'll catch you next time.